taste of Spain in Foodie Friday. If you've been to Spain, you know everywhere you look is great food. And I mean everywhere. So here at Bocaria West Hartford, they've taken all the great food and brought it here so you don't have to get your passport out and go through TSA and all that stuff to get to Spain. Uh, our chef here, Chef Navarro, is, is pumping out some, uh, uh, some good-looking uh, brunch dishes, including, look at this, some sliders. Oh, I love those. Are those not good-looking or what? And we've got the, the other dish coming out in a second. Let's talk to Chef Carlos Sanz. Nice to see you. Nice to see you and as well. Now, are, you've been to Spain a few times. What do you take away every time you, you go? A couple of pounds yeah. every, 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 every <laughs> once in a while. Yeah, a lot uh -huh. of eating. When, you, when somebody goes, okay, I don't know tapas, how do you describe it? It's just a fun, energetic way to share food and have a great time with each other. Sure, yeah. and that's it, because it's little plates yeah. where you put it right in the middle. It's not like you're getting you know, your dish with two side orders. You know, you're, you're absolutely getting stuff. And it's not just for dinner anymore. We, like we said, we have these bacon, egg and cheese sliders, which yeah. look great. But you have, I'm gonna start over here, because this is, uh, tell us the name. This is uh, our tortilla. So it's uh -huh. it basically our version of a French toast. Right. Um, it's got a sweet mita crema, which is a sheep's cheese mm -hmm. sweetened up with a little bit of sugar and vanilla, and uh -huh. then a blackberry compote that on top. Fantastic looking. If you want to start slow, and, you know, a little more, say, something you're used to, there's avocado to toast, but there's their style. Yes. Our avocado toast is with uh, brioche, a little bit of guacamole with uh, lime juice. Mm -hmm. Uh, grape tomatoes and then w red watercress with oh the citrus God. aioli. That sounds good. Now we showed you the 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 hamon before the the uh, commercial break. That's not hamon. This uh, is <laughs> this is our Bocaria Spanish version uh -huh. of slider. So it's bacon, serrano ham. Oh, so there is ham in it. There is okay. ham. Yeah, All that's right. right. Uh -huh. uh, a little bit of uh, soft scrambled eggs and then our salsa maruno, which is basically uh, similar to a chimichurri. That's better than the bacon, egg, and cheeses I can do at home. That's it. Uh, lots of different ham dishes. And by the way, if you just want ham straight up, they will slice it right off of that that um, that leg, which was how old? That leg was four years old when we four cut years into old it. you would think meat would go bad at that point but no and by the way the spaniards they uh if you're in spain people take pride in making sure they get the right pig that's been eating the right stuff so that you can enjoy a very delicate and very spain dish guys we're gonna have more from boca Rio west hartford coming up all morning long on foodie friday i'm gonna i'm gonna eat one of these sliders back to you Enjoy. yeah i know they don't want me to have sharp objects when we do foodie friday but they put me to work here if you know spain you know that iberico ham is like the thing they've got legs of perfect legs of pigs uh, that are just hanging from the rafters. They're special pigs. They eat acorns only. They, they, they judge it by the color of the hoof. And then they very, slight, very lightly carve it up, unlike what I'm doing here, uh, which is destroying their, their, their jamón. Uh, you see how just wafer thin that is? You, you can probably see through me. I mean, that's how, that's how thin it goes. It's a delicacy. So if you know Spain, you know jamón is the thing, but you know tapas are the thing as well. And so Chef Sanz has been uh, talking to us all morning long. You have a background in this stuff. I do, slight background. My grandparents are from Spain, uh -huh. uh, Galicia and the Canary Islands. How long did it take you to learn to carve that pig? Uh, quite a while. We actually have experts who come in to See? teach us how to do it. I, I, had, I had a five minute lesson. That's what I'm sticking with. Talk about your flair that you put on traditional Spanish Dishes. Yeah, we actually have a, a new spring menu that just rolled out with some uh, twist to uh, traditional dishes. Mm -hmm. So we have our uh, mussels dish, which uh, we call the mejillones con azafran. Mm -hmm. It's mussels in a saffron uh, and mustard sauce. Oh my God, that sounds good. Really, really great. Brussels sprouts, but not the way you know them. Brussels sprouts, shaved Brussels sprout salad, little cranberry, a uh, little manchego cheese, apples, and then topped off with orange zest. Even if you hate Brussels sprouts, you'll like this. You know why? Because it doesn't take like Brussels sprouts, that right? It sure doesn't. <laughs> You got a sirloin here. We do. We have our, uh, we call it a picanha. It's a uh, sirloin, uh, top, top, uh, top sirloin, excuse mm -hmm. me, with a roasted carrot puree and then our mojo verde. Oh my gosh. So this is, you know, again, if you've been to Spain, you know, croquettes, 
paella. Yeah. Uh, you come to Bocaria here at Blueback Square, and you've got those traditional dishes, Absolutely. but then you, as a, as a veteran chef, get to put your taste, your flair on it. Is that hard to do? A little bit. We want to make sure that we stay true to the culture and mm -hmm. uh, have really authentic products, yeah. which is with our Iberico and our croquetas mm -hmm. and paella. Mm -hmm. But we also want to make sure that we have fresh, light dishes for yeah. those guests who have been coming to us forever uh -huh. and uh, have something fresh to try for them. I got to tell you, I mean, when you, when you put flair, I mean, I, I, we've done this for a long time, Foodie Friday. Some chefs will tell you it's not easy, but when they do come up with something new, it's delicious. I'm not a huge fan of Brussels sprouts, but... That's good. That's good, guys, because it doesn't taste like Brussels sprouts. So I'm going to go back to carving some more ham. And maybe there will be four slices, four good slices. Once, one for each and every one of you. So here's the thing. Uh, you know, guys, you know, we're all close friends. If you want to come to Bocaria here in West Hartford, Blueback Square, you got to have two things. Got to have an appetite, but you also got to have friends. And that's important because if you know the concept of tapas, you know they're little shareable plates. They don't serve this stuff like the avocado toast, the shashuka. Uh, we have so many other things like that we've been showing you all morning long, like this fantastic sirloin. And by the way, the Brussels sprouts commission called. They said, please stop dogging on Brussels sprouts. So they, they're delicious too. So we can mention that. But if you know your Spanish dishes. The signature is not small, it's big. It's paella, and Carlos Sanz is gonna tell us how he takes a really traditional dish and puts his spin on it. It's actually very traditional in, uh, in that sense. We make our, both our stocks, so we have a marisco, which is our seafood paella. Right. We make a lobster stock fresh mm -hmm. every day. Right. Uh, and then we also have a vegetarian vegan paella for those of us who don't eat meat or seafood. I, I'm not going to dog on that. that. That actually sounds pretty good. <laughs> Talk about, I mean, this is, this is a loaded for bear dish. Yes, we want to make sure that the value, the wow factor is there for our guests. Well, so mission accomplished. We put clams, mussels, monkfish, mm -hmm. uh, squid, and shrimp. Uh, all over our... Do you notice where... Uh, Freddie, pull back for a second. Do you notice where we place that? It's right in the middle of the table. If you order the paella, you're not getting it all for yourself, and that's the way you like it. It's a shareable item, for yeah. sure, yeah, to uh -huh. bring in with your friends. People come in here, what do they take away from uh, this taste of Spain? They usually uh, have to take a nap afterwards, <laughs> but... I told you, come with friends and come with a big appetite. Yes. And by the way, uh, the, the only thing they serve you, just yourself, is pictures of, of sangria. No, that's not right. The, the sangria, how many flavors do you have? Sangria, we have currently three flavors, mm -hmm. and then we do a seasonal flavors as drink, well. I could drink all that if, if it were a non-alcoholic version of it. So, again, to recap, small dishes, brunch just started here, right? Just started. Brunch just started here. You got your tapas. You got everything that we've shown you, and then you got the paella. And again, if you want a true taste of Spain, it's right here. The seafood paella, the vegetarian paella. Uh, I, I don't know which one to go into. And this spoon is just about big enough for my mouth. No, I'm not going to do that. Here, hand me a, hand me a fork because I, I want to get in. Because if you know paella, you know it's, it, believe it or not, it's not the seafood. It's the rice. It the you got to have a special uh, rice, right? We use bomba rice, yep, and go. we bring it from Spain. And any, any chef will tell you, if you master the rice, everything else comes second. It comes right? together, oh yes. My God, I, almost took out the, <laughs> I almost took out the sangria. That would have been a, a, a party foul. All right, I'm going to eat some more of this. Keith, Erica, Erica, I know you've been here plenty of times. Keith, next time Erica wants to bring friends, get, it, get on that list because this stuff is fantastic. All right. It's almost summertime, and if you've been to Spain, you know summer is hot there. And not just because of the weather, it's a hot vibe. And part of the reason is the food. And at Boca Rio West Hartford, they have taken that hot vibe and brought it here. We're outside on their patio uh, with all of their food, including uh, some bar bites that we're going to talk about in a second. Carlos Sanz is the... Uh, executive chef, nice to see you. Nice to see uh, you. Thank you for letting us do Foodie Friday here. Um, 
this is a party place, isn't it? It is. Yeah, we throw a party every night of the week, yeah. and uh, with pair with great food and uh, good energy. And you got to bring the, the the right people too. Not that you don't know the right people, but the more the merrier. And that's because that's exactly what tapas is about. Right? Absolutely, it's yeah. all about sharing and having experience. Yeah, let's talk about the food that you have here. We'll start. Uh, we'll go uh, your right to our left. We'll start with the uh, with the shashuka. Yeah, we have. Uh, it's actually called huevos ornados for oh, us. Excuse me. They're 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 <laughs> baked eggs in a uh, spicy tomato sauce with uh -huh. some smoky chorizo and uh, paquillo peppers. Very nice. We got the mussels there. Yeah, the mussels. Mejillones con azafrán. Mm -hmm. It's our mussels and saffron dish. Really, really uh, bright. You've got two dishes of paella, a Brussels sprout salad as well, and then a sirloin with with what is that on top? Roasted carrot puree and then a mojo verde, which oh is a uh, pepper uh, marinade. As Freddie was getting great shots of this, he was scanning by the drinks as well because the, the vibe here is great. You've got sangrias, you've got margaritas, but and that's at the bar, yep. and that's good because you also have bar food too. We do. Yeah. We have a unique bar menu, actually. Mm -hmm. A couple of things we have here are our sliders mm -hmm. with a chorizo jam and crispy manchego. What is that on the bottom? Is that, uh, that's manchego cheese you that see that? baked, and it's salty and crispy and adds texture to the sliders yeah that's fantastic and this is a bikini this is which, uh, which is not the not the outfit it's actually yeah it's bit. it's named after a restaurant uh disco club mm -hmm. in uh in barcelona called la sala bikini mm -hmm. and they love their sandwiches there and they started calling it the bikini is it like for people to go when they were tired of dancing yeah and, or a little go. snack this afterwards. is a traditional dish uh that's what you get here you get traditional dishes with a with a flair and uh, it's a really cool joint whether you're inside or outside come on out best part of Foodie Friday is I got to try some good food from all around the world. Thank you. Thank for, you. I'm going to eat this and I'm going to throw it back to you guys in the studio. Take it away.